We are here at Acer's booth at CES 2023, and we got to spend a little bit of time with Acer's new concept that is at one time a Chromebox and also an all-in-one, and they're calling it the Add-in-124. Let's check it out. So the concept is simple enough. You've got all-in-ones that have all their components in the screen and when you put a keyboard and mouse with it. And then you've got Chrome boxes that kind of put all the computing components in a little box that you hook a screen to. Well, Acer's kind of decided to put those two things together and give you this add-in one. And so the idea being, it's a mostly monitor with some extra components to it that the Chrome box slides into and is meant to kind of just stay put in there until you want to either upgrade it, repair it, or just completely repair place it all together and there's a couple interesting points around that we'll get to just in a second but inside the chrome boxes you know 12th gen internals like we're seeing on lots of chromebook stuff right now so it's going to be plenty fast up to 16 gigs of uh, ram and up to 512 gigs of storage. And, and so all the pieces are there to make this a nice, fast Chromebook. There's all kinds of connectivity, up to four 4K uh, monitor output. The thing's got plenty of power. Don't worry anything about that. But at the end of the day, a Chromebox is a Chromebox. As long as it runs Chrome really well and it can be upgraded and it's nice and fast, well, you know, it's, it's doing its job right. But this one differs because now you've got this ability to slide this Chrome box into the back of the all in, or I'm sorry, I'm gonna say this a hundred times wrong, the add in one. And it allows you just with one cable basically to kind of have this all in one feel with a device that is distinctly two different pieces of tech. The additions on the screen portion are, you know, a five megapixel webcam up top, which is a nice addition. It's nice and wide. It's got a privacy shutter. There's also some firmware built in to the monitor itself that allows for noise canceling. So there's a switch up there to add some noise canceling to the outside. Now, you know, software like Google Meet has this kind of baked in and they do that for you, but it's always a nice touch to be able to add a little bit of noise canceling. And then on the front underneath the screen are the speakers that are nice and loud, produce spoken word really, really well, and have a nice bit of bass to them too. The screen is plenty bright. We didn't get an exact nit count on it, but if I'm guessing, looking at it compared to other stuff around it, it's probably in the 400 nit range, which is gonna be plenty bright. There are touch screen options and all that kind of stuff. And it you know has the normal tilting ability that you would get with a normal monitor. But what's really cool about this is Acer says that they plan to make more monitor sizes down the road. So say you buy 10 of these things and you've got them all you know, in an office or a school or something like that. And then you decide, hey, we wanna change three of these people. They need a 32 inch monitor. Well, Acer's saying that they're gonna be models of the same thing with larger screen sizes down the road. Well, all you gotta buy is the outer portion now. So you buy that, you pop the box out, slap it in and boom, you have an upgraded larger and our add-in-one system uh, moving forward. Additionally, Acer does say too that there are gonna be different models with some different hinges on the back. So the one that they have here at CES just kind of has a tilting motion to it, but they're gonna have one that has a, a hinge that raises up and down and allows for that 90 degree rotation, kind of like HP's Chrome Base 22. All put together, it's an interesting package. It's gonna start just over $600 basically. And you know, it's gonna come in a wide variety of configurations. So until we have exact configurations and exact pricing, I don't wanna to talk too much about that. But if you're getting a really nice monitor with a built-in webcam, that has you know some nice you know shutters and, and noise cancellation on it and speakers built into that it comes with a keyboard and a mouse and a, and a chrome box for 600 ish dollars that's a nice starting point and obviously it'll go up from there as you upgrade to an i5 or an i7 processor and add more ram and add more storage but i think it's going to be a solid starting price from acer on this device but until we get this thing in the office and actually put it through some paces it's hard to kind of tell in these noisy environments exactly how good the speakers are what that screen really looks like or how it's going to feel to use this thing because one other use case they mentioned was the idea that you could have one of the monitors at home and one at the office and when you're done working just pop the chrome box out throw it in your bag go home pop it into your home monitor and i hadn't even thought about that so this brings up a whole lot of interesting use cases i think that in the future you know people could use this instead of an all-in-one go to an add-in-one i just can't say it um, 
that, that they could they could go to this kind of method and have a little bit more modularity with their with their Chrome box Chrome base kind of setup. But you know we'll have to see once we get this thing in and and actually have some time to spend with it and mess around with it to see like does this really replace an all-in-one or is this just a gimmick that feels like a Chrome box kind of slapped onto the back of a monitor. But guys, that's it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, head down there, hit that subscribe button. Be sure to ring the notification icon as well if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Till next time, we'll see you.